welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And I don't know how exactly to explain this show. We are going to be looking at a whole lot of different things today as far as even one of our listings is one of those that could go residential or commercial depending on what you want to do with it. So, um, and then part of what you're going to talk about in your Real Estate Minute is if you don't want to buy, you want to rent. You guys also offer those services. Exactly, and we're covering a huge amount of area. We've got listings from West Liberty up to Pike County and then rental information mm -hmm. from Johnson, Floyd, Pike. So we're trying to cover all of our bases today. But that's one of the things that we always try to stress are the many different services that you can get through Red Brenna Williams. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, you know, we can't hit it all in a 15-minute show, but we can direct you into some of the options and then let you find them the rest of the way. All right, the first one, as Jennifer said, that we're going to talk about, let's start in Morgan County uh, near West Liberty and then work our way back. So this one is one I really like this listing. Yeah, this is one I don't think we've ever talked about this one before. This is right off 172. So if you're in Johnson County going mm -hmm. towards Flat Gap on 172, you're going towards and into Morgan County. Correct. So that's that area. And if you're familiar with the area of Crockett, this is the old Crockett greenhouse. Right, and I think this is cool because if you're seeing the pictures on the screen, you're like, oh, it's a house, but then you've got that big building, and then you've got the greenhouse, and then you can see. So, you know, if you want a home and you just have this great big hobby that you want to do, you can do that. Or if you want to bring a business in, like Jennifer said, it was a greenhouse prior to this. Absolutely. And you don't even have to live in the house. You know, if you want to start a business and rent out the house, this could be a complete investment property. Exactly. Or if you want to live on site, like you said, have a hobby or start the company up back up with the greenhouse, you have all kinds of options. Well, and the big, the buildings have tons of square footage. I mean, you're looking at 6,000 square feet in that big metal insulated shop garage or, or whatever. So if you've got, you know, trucks or big toys or anything like that you need to store, You've got tons of space. And then what? The shed is another 1,000 square feet. Absolutely. Plus, you have three greenhouses on the property, um, a stocked pond, mm -hmm. which everybody, if you're a fisherman, that's a huge thing, fence, pasture land. So you have, again, the ability to do multiple things. If you have um, cows or horses or anything like that, this is also a great option. And this is one, that area, and you know that area, mm -hmm. it's fairly flat. You have a lot of the rolling hills. So you've got 16.8 acres, and the majority of that, you know, hunting and fishing and the pasture land, the majority of that's going to be usable for something. So if this is at, at any way piquing your interest, um, Jennifer, this is, let's say the Paintsville office is the mm -hmm. best one to handle this one. Absolutely. Call the Paintsville office at number 606-789-8119 and any of our agents there can help you. And the price on this one, two ninety nine nine. dollars So everything that we have said, you know, whether you're wanting commercial or residential with all the acreage and the buildings and, and everything, that is not a bad price at all. Not at all. All right. So if you're interested in that one, give the Paintsville office a call. Now the next couple of ones we're going to talk about are actually in Johnson County. Now mm -hmm. this first one is in Paintsville. It is. This one is located on Euclid Avenue in Paintsville. And it's a little extra advertising, but this mm -hmm. is very close to our Red Brown and Williams office in Paintsville. So you're, if you're familiar with where Route 40 goes through Paintsville, where mm -hmm. our office is located, this is actually just down the road very close to that. Right, and it's close to the Paintsville Police Department. Mm -hmm. It's the back side, I guess you could say, next to the mountain. But you wouldn't know it by looking at that picture because when you say you've got 1.2 acres, in that area, you're going to say, what? How do you have room for that? Exactly. This house sits on three lots. Um, you have a three-car garage included. You've got a um, large patio, a pool house, an in-ground pool. So this is one that gives you that downtown living mm -hmm. with having the elbow room of being out a little bit. So you have that outdoor space. I mean, you truly have the best of both worlds with this listing because of the location. Yeah, you've got over 3,000 square feet of above grade space. And then this is one, this is an older home. This house was built in 1922, but now they have gone in and completely redone everything, including wiring, plumbing, windows, flooring, kitchen, baths, lighting, heating and cooling. So yes, you've got that older charm mm -hmm. and that older feel, but it's already been updated and it's already ready to uh, move into without those big worries. 
Now this one is Teresa Preston's listing out of the Paintsville office, and this is a brand new listing mm -hmm. for Red Brenner Williams. So if this is something you're interested in, I would encourage you to go ahead and, and get the ball rolling with this one. Let's give Teresa's information. Okay, you can call Teresa on her cell phone at number 606 205-7890. Now the price on this one, four sixty seven five. So it may sound like a lot, but when you go back and look at all the details and all you're getting for this with three lots in downtown Paintsville, plus that home, it's not very much money when you look at what you're getting. Absolutely. Okay. Now the next one is also in Paintsville, but it's actually on the other side of Paint Creek. It is. This is on Walnut Avenue. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're familiar with the area, you've got um, some of the local banks right there. You've got the Dairy Queen right there. Mm -hmm. That's the side of town that we're on now. This is a custom home built with over 7,000 above grade square feet. That is almost impossible to think about when, because most of us know our homes. Uh, most of us don't live in a 7,000 square foot home, <laughs> so we know where our bedrooms and our bathrooms are, but then you've got so much more. This is a five bedroom, five bathroom home. So you already have the extra space there. Mm -hmm. It's got the extras like the Mauser kitchen cabinets, a mother-in-law bedroom with a private bath. Mm -hmm. So that can double as a second master. It can double as, you know, a mother-in-law suite. Mm -hmm. If you have a teenager that you want to have their own space, it can double as that. So this is one that really has a lot of options. And this is another one that is in technically downtown Paintsville, but is sitting on more than an acre. This one's an acre and a half of property. Absolutely. You have a lot of space on the front, and then you've got the picture of the backyard. I think we've got two pictures mm -hmm. in the back with the in-ground pool and then the patio area. So it has a really nice outdoor area, and then it still has room for a really nice size backyard. And I'm going to go out even a little bit farther and say this, I get the, when I look at these pictures, I get the feeling that I'm looking at a resort. Something that I would say, I'm going here on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> but this, this can be your home, and it's right in downtown Paintsville, so definitely one you don't see very often. No, not at all. And this is one, if you're looking for a custom home, if you're looking for mm -hmm. those upgrades, this is going to meet your needs. Right. And the price is six ninety nine nine. but another one when we say everything you're getting, I mean, you, you understand why that price is there. But if, if you're in that kind of a market, you're looking for this home, and, and Johnson County is your area, definitely give them a call. Now, this is also out of the Paintsville office, mm -hmm. but let's also give that website because so much more than this home or any of the ones we're talking about today is on your website. Absolutely. You can go to rbnw.com and of course you can look at more pictures mm -hmm. on there and you know if you want to look at other homes, but there are a lot more pictures of this home in particular on that website. Wow. Okay. Well, definitely look at that one. This one is 107 one nine nine. So that will let them pull this listing right up and get everything started. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go talk about a couple of your particular listings that you have. Now this one is also one you have in Johnson County. It is, and this is one we've actually talked about the location. It is in technically in Johnson County, but it sits, it's a Stony Brook right mm -hmm. off Route 3. You sit extremely close to Floyd County and Martin County. You actually go back and forth right there to where you almost don't know which county you're actually in. Yes. <laughs> but I technically it is in Johnson. So any of those areas, this is a very convenient location. So you're going to be close to Route 3, uh, you know, you're looking at Martin County there, Johnson County, Floyd County. If you live or work in, you know, or work in any of these areas, this is going to be a very convenient place to live. Absolutely, it really is. And this is one, the Stony Brook um, neighborhood is a fairly new neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So it's a fairly new build, built in 2010, and it has over 2,000 square feet. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath. The best thing about this house, in my opinion, is the layout. You have a really, the whole side of the house is living room. Wow. So they've left it very open, mm -hmm. um, a lot of room to have a lot of light come in. It's open to the kitchen. If you have kids, if you have a big family, this is a great layout. You know, we're coming into the holiday season, too, when a lot of people are thinking, how are we going to place everybody for Thanksgiving <laughs> and Christmas? This house, you're not going to have to worry about that. And then all the bedrooms are on the second floor. So you've got a master suite up there with a mm -hmm. private bathroom. You have two main guest bedrooms. And then you've got another, the fourth bedroom could actually be a playroom, a bonus room, but it does have closets, so it can easily be a fourth bedroom as well. And like we said, 
it's technically Johnson County, but it's so close to Martin and Floyd in that area uh, that it's going to be convenient to many different locations. Yes. And the price on this one at $215,000 is affordable. Um, and like we said, this one is one of those, it's only seven years old. Mm -hmm. So everything in it is fairly new. It's going to be one of those that you can hopefully move right into and get started without losing any time for having to renovate or do anything. Yeah, absolutely. And then the great thing, you'll look at the last picture that's showing, this actually sits on a larger lot than a mm -hmm. lot of the houses up there. So you actually do have all that outdoor space as well for play equipment or a dog or anything that you'd want to do. So you've got the space to breathe on the inside and the outside. Exactly. Okay, now this is your listing. So Jennifer, let's give the Pikeville office number. Okay, that number is 606-437-2333. All right, now moving on to the last listing. Uh, this one is one you saved your brand new listing for last. Mm -hmm. This is one that's not been on the market very long. No, this is a brand new listing. This is located in the Coal Run area. It's mm -hmm. off Ratliff Branch. If you're familiar with the lot right there at Big Lots, mm -hmm. this is the Ratliff Branch sits just past that lot. It doesn't really sit at a light. It's just past that lot at Big Lots. So if you're going toward Prestonsburg, you're going north on 23, it's going to be on your right. Mm -hmm. So, And this is a, an area that if you've never driven up Ratliff's Branch Road, you're not going to understand. There's a lot of space and it goes pretty far back in there. Mm -hmm. This is about four tenths of a mile up in there and there's a lot of space. It really opens up, but the houses don't sit on top of each other. Mm -hmm. So everybody has some elbow room. You don't see a lot of the neighbors, but there are quite a few houses up in there. And just like the other one, you've got some yard space with this mm -hmm. one. You can see you've got that front porch but yet you're just minutes away from anything that Pikeville Coal Run has to offer as far as shopping, dining, and yes. it continues to grow. That is an area that is growing really fast right now. It is, and that, the thing that I like on the outside, there's a picture of the back. You have a huge back deck and it's a completely fenced yard. So you have mm -hmm. a lot of space back there and then the three car garage has been a very popular feature as well. Right, and this is one, the master suite is on the main floor. We mm -hmm. talked about the last listing, everything was on the second floor. This one's on the first floor, which that is something I'm sure that when people ask about a home, sometimes that's something they want to see. Yes, it's either one or the other. They either uh -huh. want all the bedrooms on the second floor or they want that downstairs master. But this offers you the downstairs master and the bedrooms upstairs are very nice size. You have very large space upstairs plus a kind of a playroom and some finished storage, so tons of space. And then let's talk about space in the garage. You've got mm -hmm. a three car garage, so you've got place for your vehicles. But then if you have the ATV, the side-by-side, -side, the boat, or things like that, you've got a place to store that outside of the elements as well. Exactly. Right. So th this has got just pretty much everything you want to see. And this one is in Pike County in the Coal Run area, priced at 345000 which, like we said with the others, you don't look at the price. Look at what you're getting and then look at the price and you go, okay, I, I can justify that. Exactly. This uh, one, definitely. <laughs> right. Let's give your email address real quick before we end in case they want to contact you that way. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right. Like we promised you in the beginning of the show, we were going to take you all over the place. But that is just, like we said, part of just a small picture of what Red Brennan Williams offers. I mean, we haven't talked about appraisal services and all the other things you offer. But rental is one thing that I know, separate from what we talked about, that you guys offer. And actually, I'm going to let you talk about that now in your Real Estate Minute. Are you looking for a new home but aren't ready or able to purchase? The rental market in Eastern Kentucky continues to expand with options from luxury apartment living to more economical options. Ray Brown and Williams Real Estate currently property manages multiple apartment complexes in Pike, Floyd, and Johnson counties, offering townhomes and luxury apartments. Just a few of our options include Chelsea Square and Ponderosa Drive townhomes in the Paintsville area, Highland Avenue townhomes in Prestonsburg, and the Pikeville Commons luxury apartments in Pikeville. If you're looking for a great rental option in Eastern Kentucky, I invite you to call any of our Red Brown & Williams locations for availability in your area. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Red Brown & Williams Real Estate Show. We hope you will join us again soon.